like everyone right here, right now, to take a deep breath and exhale. All right, take a look around. We're all here from our different journeys that brought us here together in this very moment. And now, in this very moment, you have made it to a start of yet another new journey. When I see all of us here today, I look back at my own journey. Like most, I've experienced many things, many hardships related to peers, family, health, physically, mentally, emotionally, loss, and trauma. But it is important to recognize that each of these moments were moments for growth. So when I look back at all these hardships, I remind myself that I'm here today. We're all here today. With each moment, I have been able to stand back up. With each moment, they have led me here, standing before all of you today. In the beginning, as many do, I felt the loneliness of coming to a new place. I felt the longing to find a place where I could belong. And I'm sure many of you understand. With these emotions, I was able to grow by gaining the strength and courage to make my first conversation with an individual who I will now cherish as my lifelong friend. That single moment has led me to where I am now, in the arms of Alexa. In a moment where I was lost, confused, and doubtful, Absa welcomed me with open arms. With this community, I've met individuals who help me feel excitement and happiness. Absa has helped me grow in ways that I would never have imagined. And I'm sure it has done the same for many of you. With this in mind, Absa is my lifeline. Through Absa, we create memories and friendships that last lifetimes. In this moment together, we are growing and learning. And this is what makes APSA so magical. And this is what I'm fighting for. Hello, my name is Tara Arandia. I'm a second year child and family development major, minoring in counseling and social change. And I'm running to be the president for the 2023 to 2024 academic year. In order to adhere to the values of APSA as president, I have set forth for myself two main goals. These goals are to take a focus on two main aspects of the APSA community. First, being my fellow board members, and second, being the mission statement. In order for APSA to have a memorable experience, first and foremost, I would like to look at my fellow board members. Each and every one of us are our own unique puzzle piece. With this in mind, it's essential to learn about each individual's strengths, weaknesses, what works, what doesn't work, and each of our needs. The key is to be able to see everyone's potential and harness that potential to reach achievable goals. Learning these aspects can be done with simple one-on-one -on -one conversations and observations. With this in mind, I will take the time to do both. Already, it's, a, it's my instinctive nature to be cognizant to others. I pay attention to detail and actively listen, whether if that's body language, words, or actions. Therefore, by understanding my fellow board members, I am better able to help each and every one of you grow into the positions that you will be under. For myself, I find it essential to ensure a safe, welcoming, and professional environment in order to achieve excellence. With there being many voices on board, it's important to value each and every individual's individual thinking. As president, I want everyone's voice to be heard. It can be difficult to express ourselves in a big room with so many eyes and ears watching and listening. <laughs> In this case, it's fundamental to ensure that each individual feels comfortable enough to take initiative, speak up, and hold each other accountable. With this, I will guide as a mediator, as I will watch for those moments 
where someone may raise their hand but slowly put it back down or if someone feels hindered by something and is afraid to speak up. It is important to me to be able to listen in all ways before contributing guidance in order to remain neutral. I will coordinate check-ins, ask questions, and stay patient yet assertive with my fellow board members as they find the words to speak their mind. These aspects will ensure that my fellow board members feel valued through encouragement and acknowledgement. Hearing our voices and communication is important for collaboration. With collaboration, as a team, we're able to efficiently problem solve, innovate, and improve. Acknowledging these various factors, it is imperative that they must be cultivated and nourished in order to create the optimal workplace environment, but also realizing that we're friends first. Once being able to help my fellow board members, then we will be able to work together towards a common goal. Fulfilling the mission statement. A belief and value of mine is that there's always room for improvement. As APSA is a cultural organization, I would like to work on the integration of culture to a greater extent. As president, I will take it upon myself and the fellow board members to make more efforts to learn and celebrate the AAPI community. This can include incorporating cultural activities, lessons, or discussions in our many events, ranging from bonfire, night market, fam bam, and four nights, and high school conference. Additionally, this means establishing strong connections with our fellow AAPI organize, organizations and resource centers. To establish connections, I invite fellow board members and the AFSA community to be informed of our fellow organizations' events in order to attend and support one another, whether, whether if that's CASA, PISA, uh, the Black Resource Center, everyone within the community. A goal of mine is to increase collaboration opportunities with those of the SDSU and San Diego State community, or San Diego community as well. In addition to this, I would like to continue utilizing our resources and programs in order to continue celebration and discussion. For example, this could mean bringing back the political podcast, Humans of APSA, or even our blogs and utilizing social media. This means encouraging innovation and initiative, which I was able to do during my freshman year in the Extended Executive Board, also known as E-Squared, where I helped with creating the successful E-Squared Scavenger Hunt event. Everyone is competent and capable. We just need to create that environment to make it possible. Lastly, I would like to address ensuring inclusivity. As an organization, a part of our mission statement is to welcome and inform all individuals. With this in mind, my personal goal is to spread a sense of welcoming to all who, the, to all who meet APSA. As an individual who was also welcomed by APSA with open arms, this is the most imperative aspect of our next generation. This requires kindness, compassion, empathy, and professionalism all attributes that I possess. An example of this includes reaching out to those who may be sitting on their own and having simple conversations, or overall looking out for members, reaching out and advocating for our community. In order to reach inclusivity, I hope to model by example to the community. While my goals may not be evaluated directly through quantitative numbers, the success of such goals will be visible in APSA's ability to continue cultivating memorable experiences and positive relationships. It will be visible in our hard work, successful events, and a strong community. Although I could have took this time to list all of my qualities, I'd like y'all to think that with these goals in mind, I know that together we can do something mag magical. We, continue to, we can continue to grow together and learn together. With the help of my fellow future board members, I'm advocating for understanding, empathy, inclusivity, passion, innovation, and most of all, unity. Thank you.
Society of the Division actually carries out its mission statement. Well, it's difficult to say which would be the most important aspect of a president. Um, if I had to choose, I would say being president, not president, being present, um, being there for fellow board members, whether if that's emotionally, mentally, creating that connection in order to, as I said earlier, establish that community, that safe space to be able to voice out our opinion so that we can make a better community and a better environment and better events. And as I said earlier, I would like to fulfill the mission statement with more um, cultural activities, for instance, discussions, whether if that's at um, possibly our fam socials, um, creating more opportunities for activities, such as with each individual's um, events and overall just allowing for the innovation, not trying to shut it down and making sure that everyone is heard so that we can create more change. As president, you do not have any authority above you to assist you in your duties. In addition, you have 17 other board members relying on you to take the initiative in all matters. How do you plan on maintaining a productive attitude and handling your own life while also handling the problems and duties of 17 other in all honesty, balancing life in any aspect is quite difficult, but ensuring that you have a strong mindset, whether if that's mentally, emotionally, physically, is very important. So being sure to keep myself accountable and at the same time, making sure that my fellow board members are accountable is very important. Can you repeat the question, please? Um, how do you plan on maintaining a productive attitude and handling your own life while also handling the problems and duties of service? Um, furthermore, I'd like to do check-ins as much as possible, having those relationships to stay connected, to make sure people are not afraid to voice their opinions. The president is responsible for settling controversial issues within the executive board that often leave their fellow board members emotionally charged. How will you tackle this challenge and ensure that the executive team remains productive when navigating these polarizing opinions in order to maintain one cohesive absent voice? For myself, um, I like to visualize. I like to show individuals the pros and cons so that we can try to choose the best solution and additionally, a lot of emotions will be um, felt. And in this case, although it's a working environment, we're all human. We all feel certain, we all feel emotions. And in this sense, it is essential to address them. Although that may not be within our board meetings, it may be by addressing them later on um, afterwards, directly with one-on-one -on -one conversations. Um, <coughs> being there to make sure that they know that they're, they have help and support, and then making sure that their voices are heard. What is the difference between a good president and a great president? What are the qualities and attributes that distinguish between the two? <coughs> Going beyond just being present, like physically, being there mentally, emotionally, <coughs> being dependable, my entire life, I have always been there to help. And I think that's an important aspect, but it's also knowing how to balance, whether if that's yourself or your fellow board members, it's knowing how to not let biases guide your thoughts and opinions it's knowing how, when, and how to take a step back in order to be a leader. APSA is one of, if not the largest student organization on campus outside of Greek fraternities and sororities. APSA therefore can have a very powerful voice towards any campus-wide issues or referendum. 
how we use and mobilize APS's large member base in a way that will enact a positive impact on the campus community. I think by showing with um, modeling, as I said in my speech, which would be um, showing kindness, showing innovation, showing how we're doing these crazy, amazing events, and showing that within this community, no matter what, you're able to grow and learn from them. Even if it's, if it's the smallest interaction from saying hello, um, reposting a post, it's showing that um, there's some sort of connection there and that's where it can start. And then from then on, we can build further connections, such as with fundraisers, um, doing collaborations, stuff like that. Uh, two audience questions. Um, when you're under a lot of pressure and stress, how would you keep your own spirits high and keep going for apps? What is your ultimate motive? Reminding myself that we're all human. We all make mistakes. We're all living this crazy journey called life. And no matter what, we're all here for each other. Although we may be experiencing different experiences, there are so many intersectionalities. People are experiencing the same things, the different things, but being able to come together, make conversation, and grow really keeps me going. Uh, final question. As our organization grows, so does a tendency for clicks within the organization to grow as well. How you promote a sense of unity within the organization as a whole should this happen? First and foremost, I would like to address it with my fellow board members. Um, I think this would be noticed by individuals within our community. And in this case, I'd like to discuss possible solutions while also contributing my own solutions, which would be creating more conversation, trying to enforce more, don't hang out with the people you talk to often, um, keeping an eye out on those individuals who may be alone in the corner, and just simply trying to make conversation and as I said in my speech, modeling by example of that, for instance, if an individual is on their phone the entire time for an event, making sure to go up to them, ask them how they're doing, creating that first connection, and then from then on you could build more.